Hi guys, welcome to Pencil College. In this video, we'll be looking at example 4 and 5 of chapter 12.2. Okay, so without further ado, let's go straight to example 4. Find all the angles between 0 degrees and 360 degrees, which satisfy each of the following equations. Okay, so if you notice something special about this example, now the angle that we're looking for, okay, or rather the given angle, is no longer just x. Now we have x plus 30 degrees. Okay, so if the range of x is between 0 and 360 degrees, then by adding 30 degrees throughout this entire inequality, so 0 degrees plus 30 degrees, okay, so I'll be adding 30 degrees throughout the whole inequality, I will arrive at the point, or rather we'll arrive at the inequality, x plus 30 degrees is between 30 and 390 degrees. Okay, so we will be working with this inequality throughout this entire example. Okay, so just take note of this special uh, thing Okay, for this uh, example. Okay, so what do we do next? We realize that since the cosine of x plus 30 degrees is a negative value, okay, therefore, we are either in the sine quadrant or the tangent quadrant, okay? So, if we are in the sine quadrant, then x plus 30 must be up till this point. So, this angle will be x plus 30 degrees, okay? And as per usual, from here, we will identify our basic angle alpha, okay? So, alpha is just over here. Okay, so this is my alpha. Now, how about the second scenario, okay, whereby the angle that we're looking for is in the tangent quadrant. Okay, then, then, x plus 30 will go all the way into this quadrant. Okay, so the blue angle that you see here is x plus 30 degrees. Okay, so, as per usual, I will draw my right-angled triangle and identify our basic angle alpha. Okay, so in this case, alpha is over here. This is alpha. Okay, so going back to the given equation, let me just solve for alpha first. Okay, so alpha is just cosine inverse of 0 0.3. Okay, take note that you, when calculating alpha, okay, you do not include the negative sign because alpha is an acute angle. Okay, so from here, what do we do? We will move on to solve for x plus 30 degrees. Okay, so from the, from the ASTC diagram, we realize that there are two scenarios. So x plus 30 can be equal to 180 degrees minus alpha, okay, as you can see from the black triangle over here, okay, or, or it can be 180 degrees plus alpha, okay, as you can see from the blue triangle over here. Okay, so the next thing we'll do, okay, is that we will calculate our alpha. Okay, pressing cosine inverse 0 0.3 into my calculator, I'll just get alpha equals to 72.5 degrees, okay, correct, to one decimal place. Okay, so now let us move on to work out our x. So since x plus 30 degrees is equal to 180 degrees minus alpha or 180 degrees plus alpha, then x is just simply 180 degrees minus alpha minus 30 degrees or 180 degrees plus alpha minus 30 degrees okay and if you key this value into your calculator you will just arrive at two answers which are that which are 77.5 okay so 77.5 or 222.5 degrees okay to one decimal place okay so let's move on to look at example number five in example number 5, we are asked to find all the angles between 0 degrees and 360 degrees which satisfy each of the following equations, okay? So, what do we do? First, we realize that the range, okay, so the range of x is between 0 to 360 degrees, okay? So, the, we need to first work out the range of 2x, okay? Why, is, why do we need to work out the range of 2x? Because now over here, okay, we are, we are, we are finding the we're given the sine of 2x is equal to 0 0.866. Okay, so multiplying the whole inequality, okay, by 2, 
we will have this inequality over here. Okay, so if we if we work this out, 2x is actually between 0 degrees and 720 degrees. Okay, this means this means that we will have to go two cycles okay around the ASTC diagram. Okay, I'll show you what I mean in a, in a while. Okay, so from here, okay, let us just uh let us just observe that the sign of 2x is a positive value. Okay, so since this is a positive value, I can conclude that we are either in the all quadrant or the sine quadrant. Okay, so let us first work out the scenario whereby we are in the all quadrant. Okay, so now my 2x will be as such. Okay, and because we are in the all quadrant, the special quality is that, or rather the special property is that our alpha is the same as our angle over here okay so same as our 2x so this is my alpha okay so let me just uh, work it out okay so alpha is equals to the sine inverse okay of 0 0.866 okay and there are two in fact four po possible scenarios for 2x okay let me show you the other scenario in a different color so the other scenario will be when okay 2x goes all the way into the sine quadrant okay so this is my 2x okay so let me as per usual let me draw my right angle triangle and let me find my basic angle alpha okay so this is alpha okay so going back to uh, where we left off okay there are there are four scenarios okay so the first scenario is when 2x is just equals to alpha whereby we are in the a quadrant the all quadrant the other scenario will be when we are in the sine quadrant which is 180 degrees minus alpha okay however if you look at the range okay if you look at the range of 2x is between 0 degrees and 720 degrees okay so this means that if we were to go one more cycle so let me just use a green pen to show you what i mean by one more cycle okay so if i were to travel one full cycle okay so over here this is one full cycle okay and because we are going till three sorry we are going all the way to 720 degrees okay there is a possible scenario whereby we go one full cycle plus another angle over here okay so what do i mean by this so this simply means that 2x can also be 360 degrees plus alpha okay and how about if we go all the way into the sine quadrant as well okay so let me just indicate over here okay so to make it clearer okay so if we were to go one full cycle 360 degrees and then we move into the sine quadrant as well okay so this means that we are adding Okay, we are we are going all the way here. Okay, so this might be a little bit confusing for some of you. Okay, so remember, I'll recall rather that our basic angle alpha is over here. So this is alpha. Okay, so to get this green angle over here, okay, what should we do? Okay, it should actually be 360 degrees, okay, plus 180 degrees minus alpha okay because let me show you where is the 360 degrees okay to make it clearer okay so your 360 will be one full cycle okay plus 180 degrees okay plus 180 degrees which is this region over here okay sorry all the way here then minus your alpha okay so there are four possible scenarios for 2x Okay, so what do you do next? Okay, we will work out our alpha okay, by pressing our calculator. Okay, so pressing this in our calculator, we'll just get alpha is roughly 60 degrees, okay? Or you can press 60.0, both are fine. Okay, and then, and then, working out our 2x, so x will just be alpha over 2, 180 degrees minus alpha over 2, 360 degrees plus alpha over 2, and 360 plus 180 minus alpha 
over 2. Okay, working all this out, okay, we'll just get 30 degrees, 60 degrees, 210 degrees, and lastly, 240 degrees. Okay, so, yep, we've come to the end of example 5, as well as chapter 12.2. So, that if I can just summarize, okay, the, the key learning objectives over here. Okay, let me just uh, pause it here for you to just read it on the screen. Okay, and uh, let me just leave you with some practice questions as well, so you can sort of check your understanding. And finally, just want to thank you for watching this video. Okay, if you like this video, you can log on to pencilcollege.com for more videos. Okay, I'll see you for now. See ya!